Can I call him Gascott? Hello? Oh, hello, Gascott. Yes, this is Scott. Can you hear me okay? Oh, yeah, you sound great. Uh, this is Carol from Reasonable Sanity. Hi, Carol. Hi. Uh, so he's actually on the air right now. I can go ahead and pass you through. That's great. And, and I think he's just now getting ready to introduce you on there. Awesome. Okay, uh, just a minute. Let me... Bloop, bloop. Yeah, so guys, I don't know the condition that Steve Dave is in, but it isn't great. Um, I'll keep us more up to date. Uh, as you guys know, he, him and I were very close, so we'll, we'll get we'll make sure that we keep everybody up to date to that. But I just don't know um, right now. I don't have anything more I can really report. But anyways, up next we are going to talk about the legalization and the positive effects of marijuana across the country. And we will be right back to do that after this. And we are back. I'm Ryan Token. This is Reasonable Sanity Podcast. And with us right now, we have G. Scott Graham, who is the author of uh, many books, including uh, Psychedelics Integration Workbook that you can get on Amazon. And not only is he a great author, but he's also a meditation expert based on what I've read about him, uh, 261 days straight of meditation, and it's pretty amazing. So, uh, Scott, welcome. Welcome. That's what I wanted to say. Hey, it is good to be here, Ryan. It's great to be here. Thank you. Yes. And so tell me, what is the trick to being that dedicated to meditation because i've tried it and it and it's it works right just bottom line it works it allows you to you know reach an inner part that you can't when you don't relax like that but 261 days straight jeez that is amazing so congratulations on that first of all i think i think the key for for that as well as anything is determination focus and and uh, hard work uh, it's, it is, it is difficult to, to be in meditation and be in just your own thoughts for an extended period of time. And so you have to make friends with those thoughts and be okay with those thoughts. Absolutely. And I think that's usually what drives me out of it because I don't like my inner thoughts too much. They sometimes scare me. Looks like we got a call or on line three, line three. What's your question for the Scott here? Hey, um, you're, you're a pot guy, right? I am a pot so, guy. Okay, um, I, I wanted to, to just I wanted to discuss because um, about it's been almost ten years now, but um, I had gotten a uh, a DUI for driving drunk, um, and I I just want to say personally that what I find good and I wanted your input on this. What I find great about marijuana is that it how it it um, it uh, well while, while drinking was 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 bad, but I find that marijuana really helps me to focus and to drive better, and I just think that now that it's it's um, because uh, I live in Ohio and we're getting legal, we're getting legal here, and I just think it's going to be you a great are. relief off of my mind that I don't have to worry about um, getting pulled over or something. Now that I'll be able to to legally have two ounces with me, um, like at all times, that'll right. be yeah. Because it it helps. I just wanted to. Say, I guess I, I'm sorry. I'm pretty stoned right now. Um, it's uh, it helps me drive. That's what I wanted to say. It really helps me drive. Well, just remember, you can carry you can carry marijuana with you, but you still cannot drive impaired. Oh you, no, I'm really good. I'm really good at it. I'm really really good at and, it. And um, just be aware of that that if if you get pulled over, you could get a ticket for driving under impairment or or any of those pieces, um, even if you're not drinking. Oh, yeah, I'm not drinking, exactly, so I'm good. I'm sober. It's been almost uh, ten, nine, ten years now, so we're good. Yeah. Well, congratulations. Great. Congratulations. Yeah. Great, yes. All right, well, thank you, caller. It looks like, uh, wow, the, it's lighting up tonight for you. It looks like we got one on line seven. Line seven, what's your question for Scott? Yes, uh, hi, Scott. Um, my hi. My women friends, hi, I'm Mindy. Um, nice to meet you. Um. You know, you say that uh, earlier we learned that uh, women can expect a lot of changes as they get older. And my girlfriends and I were talking, and is it true that cannabis raises your estrogen levels and keeps your, you know, down there bits moist during sexual intercourse? The, the, the long-term effects and the impact of of marijuana on our bodies is still being figured out as we move forward. This is really new territory for us. 
So it's not really clear. You might hear some research that says one thing about marijuana and another research that totally conflicts it. And it's going to take some time as marijuana is legal and gets accepted and we start doing more longitudinal studies on it. It's just like alcohol. We're learning new things about alcohol and people have been drinking alcohol legally for ages. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, What's your longitude? My goal is to, you know, really help people and really make sure that marijuana is being treated in a way that is supportive of the public health and is legal and responsible. Perfect. Perfect. Mm -hmm. I I like it. Thank you for taking my call. I appreciate it. Um, Ryan, my Ryan, Ryan, can yeah. you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Go ahead, Carol. Sorry that my, my mic wasn't working. Uh, okay. It looks like there's someone on line four. Oh, okay. Line four. Line four. You're on here. Oh, hi. Yeah, I'm I'm confused. Um, I'm just wondering, uh, like, if there's so much that is unknown, if we're in this, like, uh, uncertain, wonky frontier, why isn't marijuana dangerous? It can be. Yes. Wouldn't you wouldn't you agree, doctor? Yeah. Yeah, it certainly it certainly can be Um, just like any substance. It can be dangerous. Water can be dangerous. If you drink a lot of water, if you, someone sat down and drank gallons and gallons of water, they've had, they've had this happen in, um, in uh, fraternity hazings where they're having people drink lots of water, and these people end up be going to the hospital. I think we're right. talking about sperm whales. Um, it looks like we had a uh, line, uh, line nine. You're on with Scott. Go ahead. What's your question? Hey, sir, wasn't marijuana made by the government to mind control people? You know, I heard it was like the reincarnation of the devil. Why, did, why, why are they legalizing it? Then? We did we did cover something like that last uh, month. There is a claim out there. Yeah. Do you know this one? Yeah, do you know? Well, yeah, we, we cover all the claims, and there was some people claiming that. Do you know of that, Scott? I do not know of that. Okay, yeah, it, not it's not that. a real popular one, but it's one of those ones that's getting st- steam. I'm not for it. I think it's bad. I think there's plenty of Native Americans that were smoking marijuana long before the U.S. government, so I think we're good. I think we're good. Okay, thanks, caller. Hey, it looks like, uh, if you don't mind, this guy, I'm going to go ahead and do a very quick uh, ad. It looks like it's about a two-minute ad. We will be right back, and then we will go ahead and pick her up on this interview. We'll be right back. All right. Hi, I'm Gene Bogoslowski from Gene's Butcher Shop. Generations of Chicagoans have relied on Gene's antiviral kielbasa sausages to get them through the cruel Chicagoland winters. Let's go Bears! When I was studying medicine at DeVry University, my professors told me that it was scientifically impossible to create a smoky, savory kielbasa that could fight viruses while naturally boosting the body's natural immune system. Well, you know what? Everyone knows sausage can help protect your body from bacteria and viruses. But only Gene's Sausage has the special centuries-old blend of virus-busting animal fats, seasonings, and experimental narcotics that will keep you and your family safe and healthy this cold and flu season. Come on, let's go, bears! Oh, and uh, don't forget, they taste great, too. Don't take it from me. Just listen to this paid endorsement. As a doctor who's treated patients all across the Chicagoland area, I can tell you the best way to fight the cold and flu this season is with Gene's Sausages. Gene's antiviral kielbasa sausages will be available at Whizbang's Bar and Grill for the remainder of the cold and flu season. Come on, bears, let's go! For best results, always prepare Gene's antiviral kielbasa sausages with Gary's Grease. Warning, Gary's Grease is for viscosity use only. If consumed, it can cause telephobia, pharsophobia, and rectal cancer. And we are back. Back. I'm Ryan Token. This is a Reasonable Sanity podcast, and with us today we are uh, we have a guest where we are discussing the positive effects of marijuana and 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 how society has changed. Really, uh, Scott, would you agree with me that Ryan, that, was, Ryan, was that commercial real? Excuse me. That commercial that they just played. 
Was that right? I don't. I, I don't know it. They just come across the, the, the box, the, the advertisement box, the, the, the app or whatever. Okay. Sorry. Sorry to interrupt. Okay. Okay. Scott, would you agree that the, the perception of marijuana in general has just changed? It used to, a joint used to could get somebody 20 years in prison, and this is just a lifetime ago. How, has that change been like shocking to the system? I think it has been shocking to the system. I think that, and, and I think that change has come across really fast. And in some cases, without a really good level of judgment on the government's part, um, I think we're going to hand, end up with some problems down the road because of how it's how it has spilled over and how people are not really anticipating the important public health issues around legalization. Yeah, no, I mean, you. all your points are valid. Uh, looks like we got a caller on line five. Caller, what is your p- question for Scott? Hey, hey, is this hey. G-Spot? What's up? G-Spot is Rachel. Hi, Rachel, well, what's your question? Yeah. Thank yeah, you. Fine. I just needed you to acknowledge me. Um, so I have been feeling this uh, connection with beans all over the earth. And right okay. now I'm feeling some pinto beans down in Mexico. And I just don't know if that has anything to do with, like, because I'm more lean sa- to the sativas. You're more what? I lean towards the sativas. Ah. Uh, Does so that you're have wondering a... If this is, if you're wondering if this is the cause of your connection with these beings? Yeah, like, um, so the beans, they're like, sometimes I get just the white beans, and I've also had some kidney beans that were, um, so okay. the kidney beans were haunting my dreams, but I got pinto beans now. All right. Oh. Okay. And what? Scott, you, I, is, this, is this common with people who use marijuana? To have dreams about beans? Uh, yeah, I mean, it I think that's be. what you're asking, right, caller? You're asking. I suppose the, that's. Uh, it's, it's, yeah, it's the first I've. It's the first I've heard of it. Do you end up um, when you have these dreams about beans in the middle of the night? Do you end up waking? Do you wake up kind of gassy in the morning? No, not at all. Honestly. Well, then sometimes that's not a problem, is it? Sometimes I'm just walking around and it's like I find beans in my pockets too. Wow. Wow. Okay. Amazing. Okay. Well, thank you, caller. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Looks like we got one on line two. Line two, what's your question? Yeah, hi. Uh, I was listening earlier, um, and I was hearing about your extensive years of uh, marination. Um, how long should I be marinating my meats before I cook them? Uh, because t- this year when I did the turkey, I, I severely underestimated uh, my skill level. And the turkey came out uh, subpar in my family's uh, opinion. And I actually ended up uh, being removed from the family dinner early. Um, I was not offered any type of pies. Uh, there was no desserts for me. Um, all, all that was left with, I was left with re- uh, regret and shame. Um, and I would really like to avoid that in the future. Wow. Yeah, that's unfortunate, caller. So, uh, Scott, I, is, do you have any advice for I, that sounds like a marination question, not, and, and, and I'm an expert on meditation. So um, I don't know. Ryan, what do you think the answer is to marinating dried meat or more likely the the impact of dry meat on guilt and shame? I, I don't cook. I just I, – it's not a thing I do. Um, I always believed it was more of a woman's thing, so I, ju- I just don't. And so that's the way I deal with it. So, caller, it looks like there, you, you can't get your advice answered here. Um, maybe we'll cover that subject another day. So, um, looks like uh, line eight. Line eight, you're on the air. What's your question? Yeah, hi. Um, have you noticed commercial weed makes you really depressed, but if you grow your own, it feels just uh, – hold on, hold on. I have to – hold on. You know, the great thing about um, legalization is that, um, couldn't you have done that? You after? know, instead of obsessing over, uh, sorry, 
uh, instead of obsessing over eating, now I just smoke all the time. And, um, sorry, what were you saying? Uh, no, what was, was I your... saying or what were you saying? Yeah, it was your question. Oh, what were you saying? Yeah, you were saying something about the uh, the press. Yeah, uh, no. What, what were you saying about the press? Oh, well, how the press was removing the, uh, the cat's feet. Huh. The cat feet? I... Yeah. I... I, am I the stoned one here? Because I am not following along. Uh, uh, Scott, do you know? Do you, do you understand? Oh, the I answer? thought I was following you, Ryan. I and then okay. the caller jumped in. Okay, so, this 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 got really interesting. So uh, it could get really interesting. Caller, um, when you're done smoking, call back and then yeah. what's going on. Oh, okay, up. yeah, I'll be I'll be right back. I go to the kitchen. It's, it's exploding over there. Okay, it looks like we got one more on line nine. Line nine, you're on the air. Uh, uh hey, hey man. Uh, so so like you oh. know with. With the weed step man, the weed man, uh, is, yeah. is he like, you know, like, like if I smoke weed, will I be able to play like Zeppelin on bass, man? Like, like, will it help me play a little better? Probably. I don't think it would help you p- play a little better. You might think that you play a little better. I think, I think you'd play better. That's me. I, but I yeah. also think people drive better and fly planes better too. Yeah. So. Only the uh, people with beans. With with beans? Okay, so so you're saying I could like just just like riff some mad zeppelin. I like get a can of beans and some pot, bro. That's what I would no, do. Uh, you, you gotta get the beans the be- the beans themselves, the dry beans, and put them in your pocket. There you go. Oh. That's what right. last, that's what the other caller said to do. Yeah, yeah, and I agree. My that, that beans caller probably is the wisest caller of the night because they've all been just absolutely horrible. And Carol, I am greatly disappointed in your ability to filter these things. So, um, I'm sorry, I spilled water uh, on the switchboard again. I hope we could have you back again sometime. Maybe, maybe Carol doesn't keep forcing us to take all these calls. I'm not really sure, but um, <laughs> we're all out of time. Um, it was great to have you again. Anybody can go up. Yeah, thanks for laughing at me, asshole. Oh, sorry. Careful with Carol. She will. She's in menopause. This is something we discussed earlier oh. today. So just careful. So well, I, just, I just, just wanted to thank you for coming on. Um, sorry about my callers. They're all just a constant disappointment of nothing. And I don't know why Carol feels like they need to be part of the show. But she is the producer, so we go with what she does. So thank you for coming on, Gascott. Gascott Graham, everybody. Hey, you are welcome. Thank you. This is All right. Bye. Reasonable Say Podcast. Good night, everyone.